Everybody pray for me. It's been a day for me. Yeah, yeah. You guys already see in the title, in the thumbnail, what's going on today. We picked up another pre-bug. Um, this one is probably the best one I've gotten. Um, this is actually the first scooter I've ever bought that's already built. Like I usually grab is completely stock 50cc when I get it and we end up building it up um, until what it is now. But this one right here, full deal um, and it rips wheelies. I'm excited to show you guys. But without further ado, yeah. further to do, without further to do, right? With no. Without further, without further of ado. Yeah, it's of do. Without further of do. I promise you. Without further, without further. Here's here's the pre bug. There it is. There it is. There's the Zuma. Got the new pre bug piece. A lot of you probably um, actually recognize this scooter here because uh, it actually came from Brandon over at Scooter Swap Shop. This was his old um, wheelie bike, which he then sold to somebody here locally in Vegas. And it was ironically also the same guy I bought those two pre-bugs from and my GP1. Um, shout out Russ. Um, I'm buying all his bikes from him now. This thing's legit. This thing already rips wheelies. Um, I've already been riding it the last few days and I've been trying to avoid getting it in the background of the videos. Building this thing but I wasn't ready to show it yet. But uh, here we are now. So uh, like I said this thing's already completely built. So there's not really going to be any type of build series on this thing because it already has pretty much the exact full build that I just did on this thing. So we got a Melosi crank in it, um, we got a Polini bore on it, uh, Leo Vince pipe on it, which is kind of interesting. This thing's funny looking to me because it looks like a four stroke pipe, but so far bottom end on this thing is like mint. This thing rips wheelies like no problem. I'm still curious to see how this Yasuni is. I haven't got to ride this yet. I wanted to film this video showing this thing. So uh, this thing actually has a stage six overrange kit in it a stage six carburetor on it, and also a stage six Manny on it. We got some type, whoa, is that thing loose? We got some type of NCY um, shock. I think this is like the low down shock or whatever it's called. Um, this thing's also different. They're all different in their own way. That's why they're kind of cool to have each one. This one's the single seater. This is the double slim seat. As you can tell, it's slim. This one's the fatty double seat. It's got the big gas tank in it. Um, we got same deal like I just put on my other Zuma. Trail Tech gauges right there, just like we threw on here. So like I said, it's funny that I bought this because this is literally what this bike right now, what I was building and going for, is this bike already. It has, like I said, I was doing the disc front end on this one. This one already has the full disc front end stock. This is a 2000. Which one's your favorite one? The blue and white one. Yeah, that one's my favorite too, but this one's my favorite for wheelies. But uh, still OEM rear tail lights with the big blinkers. I kind of like this one though on this bike, I don't know. Maybe I'll end up doing like the Japanese style one like this. Um, it sucks, I had an extra one and I literally sold it because I didn't think I was going to have another freaking pre-bug, but here I am. Um, I picked up the other day and the first thing I did was pull it out and hit some wheelies. I'm going to show those GoPro clips right now, but I've never ever hopped on the scooter and felt so comfortable doing wheelies and felt like so locked in. Like this scooter right here, um, pre-bugs alone though, but even on my red and gray 50cc Zuma, that was like my best scooter I've ever wheelied right there. It just didn't have enough power to keep going but balance point wise this thing with the big tires I feel like this has way more of like an area of balance I'm just like they just literally wheelie themselves but uh yeah I pulled this thing out hit some wheelies on it I'm gonna show it right now picked up the Zuma we gotta go try it out if you know you know
a little bit dialed in though. Um, there's a lot of random stuff that seems a little loose on it. Tighten that up, go through everything just to kind of get my hands on everything, make sure it's solid. All right, boys, we're gonna do the first dive in into the, the pre-bug here. So uh, first thing first, look at some of this wiring right here. Gotta put some, uh, put some plug-ins on that. Um, it looks like this is where some brake fluid broke off. Uh, some brake fluid came out and broke all this plastic off. Um, so uh, I'm looking at this blink, this uh, side marker. Looks like it's not in the right spot or something. It's like really off compared to this one. Kind of bothering me if you look at it. Oh man! Looks like a lot of these are stripped. Alright, I found a few things with the wiring I already fixed. Um, basically, the positive cable for the starter right here wasn't, it was like kind of super long and kind of just tucked away with electro tape. So I cut it back here and I heat shrinked it. And then I was looking and the ground for the engine ground right here runs and it's literally just like screwed in between right here. Like, and this is like some fancy spark plug wire that has a ground, I guess. It's kind of interesting. But uh, first time I ever seen one of those, I think that was probably when Brandon had it on there. But all in all, it looks pretty dialed. Um, there was a few stripped bolts on the plastics. This one was stripped. That one's stripped. Um, debating on whether I'm going to drill that one out and just put a rib nut in there or something or just leave it out for now. Um, then the plastics were also cracked. Um, right here. So I'm going to clean this off with some carb cleaner because it's all gunked up. Get it nice and right down to the plastic and then also plastic weld that up too. Um, and wherever I, I think that's the only spot that I really see cracks. But plastic weld that all up. And then uh, I'm going to take this off too. And I'm going to pull these blinkers out. And then check inside of here. Um, see what's good with all that. And it does run kind of rich. I can definitely um, tune this car. But I bet it has big jets in it. I'm curious to see. Got this plastic weld drying up on this thing. Got the zip tie pinching it together. Floating right over it. Super prime. Big old crack in this thing. It was like the whole leg was about to snap off. So, looking for any more cracks, but I think that was it. Um, took some purple power to the engine case. Got this thing way cleaned up. Um, Got to fix this ground now. Put a new connector on that ground. Um, this thing's looking way better though. Clean the pipe too. It's gonna look like an all new bike. Look at these wheels are so faded. There's not much to see. So blinkers on. So much better. I like it so much better without the side markers and the blinkers. Much better, like I like that narrow look. Rather than this one, as you can see, they poke out really wide. So no blinkers. I obviously blinkers are nice to have, but the way they poke out on there, not looking good on the front. So all right, threw it together to go ride it, but now I'm gonna go ahead and throw the rear rack back on now, tighten all the panels back down. This thing is ready to go. I think I'm gonna leave the jetting how it is right now. I gotta take it on a longer ride and really see. So let's throw it together and see. And then I'm going to work on this thing a little bit more today. So I'm going to change the weights in it because yesterday was a little too much. And then uh, we'll go from there. Carb wise, this thing seems happy. It's going to mess with the weights a little bit. And I'm going to try to get this damn sticker off the front. It's impossible to get this thing off the front, dude. I was using like a plastic razor blade, but then it started chipping away at the clear coat on this thing. This is the strongest sticker I've ever felt in my life right there. There she is. All sorts of cleaned up now, son. Look at that thing. She's shining. Everything's cleaned on it, dude. Pipes all cleaned up. Dude, she's gleaming. This thing looks brand new right now. Fix the gauge cluster because it was all loose in there. Put some, uh, put some tape on the inside of there. Try to mock it up a little bit. I didn't want to glue it on. But man. This thing looks good now. About to put the first test in on the new pre-bug. About to run some errands real quick. Figured what better way to test out the pre-bug. 
But it's a hot one, boys. Hey, it's a hot one out here today. My phone is so sketchy in these shorts, dude. I hate it. It's leaning out a tiny bit more. <laughs> this thing wheelies though, man, that's for sure. Just fattened her out a little bit and I think it's a little too much. That stage six screw, that uh, AAF screw is touchy one, bro. So uh, we're now we're only hitting, we were hitting like 310 before, just cruising. Now it's only hitting like 270, so leaning it out a little bit more. But man, does this have a balance point, look at that. Barely on the gas, through the bump. Literally the best bike I've ever wheelied right here. Bro, you can just coast, like just, just take off the throttle hand. Take it back up in speed. Sit back again, coast. The only thing is the grips are really fat. Makes my arms way more sore, faster. The way you have to hold it, you're like this. Rather than like where I can like grab it good, so. Ten fifty right there on the uh, RPM. Honestly loving this Zuma right now. This is probably my favorite scooter I own. Should we stop by John to see if he's outside? <laughs> What's happening? What's up? Alright boys, there she is. All cleaned up. This thing is shining, dude. It looks brand new right now. Like, 
She looking really good. Um, Got to rep the homie on this one. Dude, I'm so stoked on this thing. I've been riding this literally every second on camp for the last few days, just doing wheelies up and down the street. This is by far the best bike I've ever wheelied yet. Been uh, just because the setup with the 70 kit, just the Zuma in general. Like I really liked wheeling my stock red Zuma, my favorite bike I've ever wheelied until this one. And this one's a little bit better, I think, because the seat's a little fatter, so I get a little better position and uh, just that power band on it is just perfectly set up right. So this thing is the new wheelie bike. I'm so stoked on this thing. I hope you guys are stoked on it too. It's literally exactly what I wanted out of my other Zuma, um, but this one's a little tad better because of the double seat. I like the way the single seat looks more, but this one, wheelie status, is the best move. Um, we got front disc set up, like I said, dude, and uh, you guys see it, I'm stoked on this. Can't wait to see what's in store with this bike. Um, no plans on really parts-wise for it right now because I really like the setup. The only thing I might do is put the Polini carb back on it because right now it has the stage six carb. So uh, that might be the only thing I'm doing for it now. And uh, got some new grips and some small things to do to it. But other than that, this one's probably gonna stay the same for a while and just kind of be like the wheelie hop on bike, go mess around with some friends. And uh, I guess you consider it more of like the daily, you know how, you know how it goes. But um, yeah, we gotta, we got we to gotta cut back on the bikes a little bit right now. There was getting no room in this garage. I'm probably selling this uh, KLX 110 here very, very soon. I just got to list that thing up. And uh, maybe maybe it might be time to get rid of one of these pre-bugs here. So uh, we'll see what's going on. So much more to come with that bike, especially because I really plan on making that kind of like the daily piece. Um, I've already been riding it almost every day since I got it and busting some missions on it. That's going to do it for this video, boys, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Merch coming very, very, very soon. See you.